to share with you today an encouraging word. One of my favorite stories from Scripture comes from John 5, 1 through 9. It's a story about a man who was beside the pool called Bethesda. He was there for 38 years. He was an invalid. He was there with others who were sick, paralyzed, covered with diseases. But Jesus walks up to him and Jesus says, what are you doing here? How long have you been here? In fact, Jesus already knew how long he had been there. And he asked him, he said, do you want to get well? And the man says, well, of course I want to get well, but every time I try to go to the pool, someone goes in before me. And Jesus says, well, if you really want to get well, take up your mat and walk. And so what? The guy gets up, he picks up his mat, and he walks. There are three things that come to mind when I hear this story each and every time. One, this man for 38 years was beside a pool that was full of hope, but yet he made excuses each and every time the pool was stirred. And I think how many times we as Christians and non-Christians, we have that hope available to us, but yet we don't reach out for that hope. We just sit by the pool and wait and wallow in our self-pity. The second thing I think of is waiting for the time is right. I know those who are not Christians yet have not made that decision to follow Christ. We think we have to be a certain type of person to accept Christ. We wait for that time. There's not a wait. All you have to do is reach out to Him for that hope and grace. And those of us who are Christians... We tend to want to wait. We think we have to wait to do something big for God. It has to be the right time or the right money or whatever may be available to us. But we don't have to wait. Jesus says, just do it. Just pick up your mat and walk. And the third thing was that mat. I kept going back to this story and looking at this mat. And there's so many of us who are covered with, with things that we may be in bondage about, whether it be a particular sin or trouble or season or sickness that we may be walking through. And Jesus says, all you have to do is just lean on me for that power and strength. The beautiful thing about this story is Jesus brings hope where there was hopelessness. He brings power where there was self-pity and, and doubt. And Jesus says, just reach out to me. All you have to do is pick up your mat and do something and make that decision. In this story, I hope it brings encouragement to you in knowing that Jesus Christ, He is our power, He is our hope, and He is our grace. And I'm so, so thankful for what Jesus does for me each and every day.